Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving. Uh, today's shave, after um, recently I've been using a lot of high-end products uh, and last Saturday's live shave was a bit of a party in here. Um, so I'm just gonna calm down, just have a basic shave with things that you probably have. Some people, most people will have one of these uh, products or have tried one of these products. But before I start, I just came out of the shower and up here I used this stuff, the uh, L'Oreal Men Expert Hydrosensitive Burt Sap Shower. Um, absolutely fantastic, beautiful scent. If you can get a hold of this, try it. It's a lovely, lovely scent. It smells like a, an expensive cologne. Um, yeah, it's kind of hair and body wash, so very good. So I'll just put that back up there. Um, yeah. Right, okay, let me show you what I'm using in today's shave. The razor, which I haven't used for a long time, it's a wonderful razor, it's beautifully made. It's made in the UK and England. It's the Edwin Jagger DE89. Uh, this is the one with the 3D laser diamond handle. Beautiful, beautiful razor. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, it still works. It's, it's fantastic, this Edwin Jagger DE89. Like you can see on the, the collar there, it says Edwin Jagger, yeah, great razor. Um, inside that, I'm going to be putting a blade that I haven't used for a long, long, long time. Uh, very popular amongst wet shavers, Astra Superior Platinum or Astra Green. Uh, one of those blades. So I'll just take one out. The wrapper, brand new blade. Um, there it is there. And I shall load that into the DE89. So how are you doing? How has your week been? It's uh, Friday again. The <laughs> weeks are disappearing quicker. It's almost, uh, January is almost over. Thank goodness. There's the blade. Um, yeah, and as usual, I'm putting the little plastic washer on this. Um, I always get comments, what size is the washer, Kevy? Where do you get them? Well, if you search on eBay, for plastic washer size M5, uh, that's that's what you'll find. So there's the razor all loaded with the blade, beautifully lined up. Yeah, very nice. There it's there. Uh, the brush I'm going to be using, uh, this is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or Phoenix Shaving. Uh, this is the Atomic Rocket. There it's there, 26 millimeter synthetic knot. Good big old brush. Uh, yeah, very soft knot. Uh, I've had this for a while. Uh, very nice brush. Uh, the soap, I was very kindly sent this from a viewer, um, Alan. Alan is in Canada uh, and he sent me a couple of soaps and this is the one I'm going to use today. The Rocky Mountain Barber Company Sandalwood. Uh, yeah, there it is there. So I'll show you the back, the ingredients and stuff like that. You can check it out. Made in Canada. I'll put links to the website. Yeah, all natural products. Very good. So let me just uh, open the tin here. Uh, and there's the cream there. Very silky looking. The scent on this, it smells a little bit right, like Parasso. A little bit like The Art of Shaving, which smells similar to Parasso. It's kind of a combination of those two, um, someplace in between. For me, very nice. A nice, nice sandalwood scent. Yeah, beautiful, I really like it. Um, as it's a cream, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wet the brush, I'm gonna scoop out a little finger bit and put it into the brush, so I'll wet the brush. Like so. Give it a little flick out so that's still damp. I'll dry my hands. I'll scoop out a bit of cream. I'm not sure how much to use, so just that much. I'll just put that into the brush, like that. If we need to get more, we can. Tell you what, I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much of this I'll need, so uh, I've never used it before. But there we go. So that's just in into the onto the tips of the brush. I'll wet my face. So there's still some on my finger here, so I'll just... Yeah, there's a little bit of menthol in this which I can, I can smell. Maybe that's what, um, 
Maybe that's what I'm smelling, but it's a sweet sandalwood. It's very nice. Very, um... Does it smell like tobs? A tiny little bit. Kind of like a, a mixture between tobs, parasso and art of shaving sandalwoods. It's very nice. I like it. I really do like it a lot. There it is there. Okay, let's uh, get to work with this brush. Right, a little bit of water in that. Let's fill this up with water. So how is your week been? And how are you looking forward to the weekend? Yeah, there's lots of different ways you can uh, lather up creams. Look at that in there. You see the water in there. <laughs> yeah, some people like to bowl lather with creams. Some people like to uh, put some cream on their face. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's uh, all the uh, the Rocky Mountain Way. That, sorry, the Rocky Mountain Barber Company. Um, if you have a look at their website, all their products are natural, naturally sourced and stuff like that. Nice website. Right, a little bit more water on the brush. How long does it take you to lather up your soaps and creams? Do you just <laughs> lather up the brush, throw it on your face, and that's it, good to go. Or are you like me, you like to build the lather and create the lather and there's all different ways of doing it. I'll tell you what, this is a thirsty cream. I probably used way too much, but um Dipping the brush again. Yeah, I'd rather have enough. First time using it, look at that. This knot, uh, these big 26mm synthetic knots, they whip the lather. No problem. Scent strength. Probably about a, I would say in the tin, maybe about a four, lathered up. I would say maybe about a six or seven, so quite a nice, strong scented cream. Lather flying everywhere. Just dipping the tips again. Wow, this is an excellent cream, really good. Look at that lather. Yeah, I can feel a menthol um, slight, slightly cooling my skin, which is nice. Um, I think um, Ken, Surf's is, Ken Surf's has um, reviewed one of these soaps. Look at that. Beautiful lather. Really nice. Yeah, some people say that um, creams don't lather as well, or they're not as slick, or not as dense as uh, soaps. But look at that. Yeah, you can see that. Right, let's get cleaned up. And we'll get it going. Let me just uh, put the lid back on this so it doesn't. Any water in it. There we go. Rocky Mountain Barber Company Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Beautiful. Okay. Keep the blade and the razor of the Aster Green. Here we go. With the, the good old DE89. That feels fantastic. It's great to use um, 
uh, expensive high-end razors and soaps and creams and brushes and but it's also good to use to come back and uh, you know use some stuff that's widely available or more affordable to, to some people and they work just as well I mean this feels really really good I've not used an Astra Green blade in a long time and that's like uh, it's like butter very smooth I love the knurling on this handle absolutely fantastic Yeah, there's so many um, different DE-89s from Edwin Jagger. Most of them, I think them all, I think they all have the same, uh, the same head, but it's the, the different handles that you can get. I'm not sure if you can still get this one actually. I'll we'll have to check. I can just feel that little bit of menthol, it's really nice. Yeah, just cooling the skin feels great actually. Fantastic, nice residual slickness. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two uh, and we'll lather up and get going again. Nicely rinsed off. All right, back to this brush. Look at that. You see the shine on that, that looks great. <laughs> yeah, really, really nice lather. It's flying all over the place here. Yeah, but I can tell it's um, it feels dense. It doesn't feel like like some creams you can use. Uh, the leather feels a bit airy and a bit thin, but this feels really nice. Thank you for those of uh, those of you that joined us, joined us, joined me for the, the live shave um, last weekend. <laughs> it was uh, it was good fun. It was uh, an hour of utter madness. We had music, we had the bagpipes going, and uh, yeah, just a, a nice a nice uh, shave with friends. It was good fun. I was going to go against the grain there, but it's a second pass across the growth. Yeah, uh, really enjoyable. Life shaves like that are, um, they're always good fun. And if you can't have fun in life, well, what can you do? That's the thing with my videos. What you see is what you get. <laughs> There is a little bit of overhang on this razor. Uh, you can see the blades sticking out of the sides here. The little tabs, yep. So um, yeah, just be careful of that under the nose and stuff. But this is absolutely wonderful. This uh, cream, 
I'm really impressed with this. Really impressed. Yeah, someone said um, that they didn't get a notification from YouTube for the live shave. And I often think I should announce it. Like I always planned to have that shave last week, but um, I never want to announce it and then say I'm doing a live shave and then someone crops up that I can't do it and people are like, well, I thought you were doing a live shave. You know, because things happen in life. That sometimes your plans change. So I never like it announcing them. Maybe I will for the next one. Who knows? Okay, two passes done. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that feels fantastic. Really, let me just put a little bit of water on that. Look at the slickness on that. That is absolutely unreal. The residual slickness there. Really good. Really, really good. Okay, let me rinse and come back for pass number three. Okay. Beautiful smell in this bathroom. Really nice, that um, cream. If I'm being perfectly honest, this... Um, you often know when you're using a cream. This feels like a soap. It's honestly that good. Yeah, I had a look at their website. Um, and the Rocky Mountain Barber Company. And it said that, um, I think they Maybe going to, going to be getting a UK supplier. So um, I'll need to find out about that. The scent is really nice. Yeah, it doesn't smell like a, like a synthetic sandalwood. It smells kind of natural, but nice and sweet. Very good. Okay, third pass against the growth. The good old DE eighty nine Edwin Jagger. With the uh, Astra Green. Somebody's sending me a message. Mrs. Kevy, probably. It's nice the weekends here. It's nice to have time to relax and enjoy your shave. Um, that's when some people just uh, use really good stuff. There's that little spot still there. Yeah, really good stuff. Save it for the weekend shave. 
you have uh, time time to get into the bathroom without um, having to rush things to get things done. And Goodness me. Someone's uh Okay. Three passes done, let me have a quick rinse, cold water, and I'll see if there's any p -p -p pickups needing done. Great slickness on this this cream. Very good. Yeah, really, really good. Okay. <laughs> Ding! Wow, that feels excellent. Okay, let's see how much uh, cream is left in this knot. Enough easily for a, a face wash. Look at that peaks on that. Right. Well, what a beautiful scent. Okay, you know the drill here. I'll have a face wash with this. I'm going to leave this on. Let the soap do its thing. All the lovely ingredients in here. A little bit of menthol too, which is nice and cooling. I'll clean all my gear out. And I'll come back for the post shave, so I will see you by the wonders of editing very soon. Wow, very, very nice, very smooth, skin feels great. Okay, straight on to the aftershave. Had to be Prassel Red. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. A tiny little bit of burn, but nothing really to speak of. Oh, it smells great. Fantastic, I've not used that for a long time. Great, great stuff. And to finish it off, a balm I haven't, I, I'm not even sure if I've used this on camera before. Uh, I found it in the shave den and I thought, wow, I've never used that before on camera, I don't think. The Bluebeard's Revenge uh, Post Shave Balm. Here it is here. It's like a kind of liquid, almost like a thick, like a thick liquid. Let me just put that on. Yeah, it doesn't really have much of a, a scent. There's a little bit of scent to it. But kind of just like a standard kind of balm, a little bit of scent, kind of a cologne type scent, I would guess you would call it. Yeah, Bluebeard's Revenge, so um, I know some people will use that stuff. Good stuff. It smells good. Feels great. 
Okay, quick recap on what we've used in today's uh, shave after using all the high-end products back. A little bit of kind of back to basics for Kevy shaves. Uh, the razor for today, fantastic Edwin Jagger D89 uh, 3D laser diamond handle with the knurling. Inside that a brand new Astro Green Blade. Let me just find the packaging for that, there we go. Astro SP, Superior Platinum or Astro Green as they're known. Uh, yeah, great razor, not too aggressive, very smooth, great with that blade, absolutely perfect pairing, very very nice. The brush was the Phoenix Shaving or PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, 26mm, uh, the Atomic Rocket. There is there, good old big brush, big knot in it there, very good. Star of the shave for me, Rocky Mountain Barber Company. Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Fantastic. One of the best creams I've used, without a doubt. One of the best creams I've used. In terms of scent and performance. Yeah, I really like it. Really, really like it. Uh, thank you, Alan, for sending that over from Canada. Uh, he sent me another soap as well that I'm going to try with this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is in my top five of favourite creams. Definitely. Beautiful scent, easy to lather. Yeah, you can see how silky it is in the, in the tin there. Yeah, I probably used way too much, but first time using it, really enjoyed it. Great cushion, glide, um, residual stickness, really, really good. Um, that was that, so we've done three passes. Uh, face wash, rinse it off with cold water, post shave, Brazo Red, splash, fantastic. And finished it with the Bluebeard's Revenge post shave balm. There we go, and there we have it, ladies and gents. Very, very comfortable. Skin feels great, no issues. Great shave. Okay, that's all from me for today. Um, enjoy your shaves over the weekend. As I say, it's Friday. Uh, I'm not sure when this will go up on Friday, but um, enjoy your weekend. Have some fantastic shaves. As I said before, you don't have to use the latest, greatest, high-end, expensive product. Uh, as you can see, um, these products, a lot of people will have these. So if you want to use them, that's fine. As long as you get a nice shave, you enjoy it, it's comfortable, there's no irritation, that's all that matters. Okay, have yourselves a great Friday, uh, whatever's left of it. Uh, and if you're watching this over the weekend or whenever, have yourselves a wonderful weekend, spend it with loved ones, relax, chill out, have some great, great shaves, use some great products. Um, don't tell anyone you're doing it the wrong way. Just you do what you want to do, enjoy your shaves, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. I love you all. See ya.